but Austin State University. That is what this campus is known as in 2019. However, I'm standing in front of what used to be but Austin State's college, gym, and pool. What is simply known today as the Student Union. I had the pleasure of speaking with the author of the first 100 years about Austin State history. Classes were first held here January of 1913, and the school was called South Georgia State Normal College. It was a two-year college. It taught a wide variety of things, but its focus was on teacher training. In 1921 came the first change to the school's title and went from South Georgia State Normal College to South Georgia State Women's College. And less than 30 years later, the school welcomed another change. In 1950, the school went co-ed and changed its name to Valdosta State College. Desegregation at Valdosta was very deliberate and very well planned. Dr. Thaxton, the president, realized that we were going to have to desegregate, so he did it voluntarily in 1963. He picked two excellent students, Junel Thomas and Robert Pierce. Robert Pierce had a full scholarship to Morehouse, which he turned down in order to come to Valdosta State. Today, Valdosta State is 60% female and 37% black. Much has changed since these doors originally opened back in 1913. I'm standing in front of the last untouched building of Valdosta State University. No matter how many renovations are planned to be done for this building, the outside will still remain the same as it was when it was built as South Georgia's Women's College. 